Thank you. I guess I'd like to continue on that. I mean, there are several issues you brought up in your testimony, um, Secretary Washburn. Um, obviously, the, the the amount of money in the settlement and why you think that that's, you know, I don't know. I, think, I can't remember what term you used, but you thought it was in the ballpark of appropriate. Others, of appropriate. Thank you. Um, this, you know, infrastructure right, the non-Indian impacts, the actual cubic feet part of the settlement, uh, dealing with the uh, Fort Belknap. I mean, are all, which of these issues are the sticking points and which of them are the, as you said, neg you know, smaller things that you just need to work out, technical things that you, we need to come to terms with. So, so w what do you think is the real sticking point here? Well, certainly the, um, you know, making sure we can fill our trust responsibilities to both tribes, uh, both Fort Belknap and the Blackfeet tribe are important. And so that's probably one of the, the biggest ones that sticks in my mind. There's some um, marketing issues that we need to work out, whether the tribe will be able to lease its water rights and how that will be accomplished. And um, I Because think the concern there is that well, that would impact a it's it's a trust it's a trust resource. We take the position that the water rights are held in trust by the United States, and so ordinarily, um, at least with land that's marketed, um, leased or something like that, there's usually some sort of role for the federal government to approve it because we are responsible for it, and so we treat water in a similar fashion. But we are working um, to try to be creative with the tribe to give the tribe greater control over that because we certainly believe in self determination, self governance, and having the tribe exercise control. And that would be the first time we'd have a self governance issue around water. Well, no, we have. This has been an issue in most of our water rights settlements, and I, you know, I will say that usually there's a requirement for sectarial approval, and this. The tribe here, Blackfeet, I think wants to do something a little bit, um, I think they want a little bit more control and we're willing to um, entertain those ideas because again, we believe in self-governance, but um, we are just trying to figure out what works. And Mr. Weiner, how do you, how do you see this issue with the Fort Belknap and the uh, Birch Creek issue? Uh, the, on the Fort Belknap issue, we certainly support the efforts of the United States to work with the two tribes to try to reach an, a resolution of them. We certainly think that the tribe's idea for a process approach is a wise one because, as I've said, uh, we, we don't really see the practical likelihood of conflict. So having a process, if one is to arise, seems a very reasonable approach to us. On the Birch Creek side of things, uh, on the marketing front, the state certainly strongly supports the tribe's effort to market this water. That is of great benefit uh, both to the tribe in terms of economic development and to the state who have users who would potentially be interested in leasing that water from the tribe. And so we are certainly strongly supportive of the tribe. We put specific marketing language that was drawn from prior Indian settlements into the compact itself that was ratified by the state. Uh, but we do want to address the federal concerns, and so the state is, is happy to play whatever constructive role in that that we can. Okay. Do you have any, Mr. Aguirre, any comments on that? Madam Chairwoman, thank you for the question. I, I would just uh, put for the record that uh, we are in support of the Ponderé River Canal Company. Um, it would be an economic benefit uh, to the tribe over time. Um, and so, from that perspective, uh, we very much stand in support of that effort, Madam Chair. Okay. Mr. Joyner, let's turn to um, your testimony. And uh, you brought up uh, several issues. Uh, so did our colleague that was here earlier, Senator Udall, about the complexity of this uh, appraisal. Um, How do you think that we resolve this issue? Madam Chairwoman, there's two, two ways we could resolve this issue. Um, the language is now currently written clearly does take care of the valuation issue, so we can move forward with the appraisal very clearly. Um, the estimate of $200,000 is based on um, the cost of the appraisal, the title search, the administrative work, other surveys that might occur. Um, we can move forward with and, and expend those funds. That would be the majority of the Siebel and National Forest lands budget for a given year. So it would take precedence over their other work, but it could be done. Um, the other option we would like the committee to consider would be 
um, language that would allow the conveyance to be handled as a simple land transfer between the Department of Interior and the Department of Agriculture, in which case the appraisal would not have to be done at all. Um, it would simply be a change of jurisdictions. Um, and we can provide that, that concept language if that was desirable. And is it my recollection that that is what we have done in other situations before, that we've had the same, like in some of the other things? Um, it has been done simply between agencies, yes. Between the Forest Service? And between the Forest Service and the Park yeah. Service, the right. Forest Service like and the, the BLM. I think the HO was that done that way or no? I'm sorry? I think the HO land settlement in Washington State may have been done that way. So. I believe you're right. So, okay. So it has been done <laughs> that way when you have an agreement between yes. organizations. Okay. All right. Mr. Paisano, any comments on different ways to reach this valuation or agreement between agencies? Madam Chairwoman. Madam Chairwoman, on behalf of the Pueblo of Sandia, we think that we could agree to this. However, we would like to see some legislation authorizing and directing it. Because of the length of time that's, that's transpired since now, um, as Senator Udall indicated in his testimony, there's, it's, it's just been a lot of back and forth. And it's, it, there's a lot of frustration that's built up with the Pueblo. We have an excellent working relationship with the local um, forest service and we want to maintain that. But at the end, we want to ensure that, the, that we have some finalization, finalization to this legislation. Uh, Mr. Joyner's uh, possible recommendation of just having the Forest Service and the um, Park Service make a land, you know, transfer would satisfy? Yes. Okay. Well, I have to say, um, you know, this, you know, I've personally been through these issues in my state as well. It does sometimes seem mystery why something that could be so simply done isn't done. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, I think agencies are looking, uh, I don't know, we'll have to find out why that, why that happens. Um, but uh, we've heard everyone's testimony today, and I think we've highlighted a few things that uh, we still need to make sure that we come to terms on. But I, you know, I would just say to, to everyone on both of these issues, uh, you know, certainly on the water issues in Montana, but the, the same that, uh, you know, these issues are best resolved with people working together. You know, we chaired a former a ch a hearing that our colleague, Senator Johnson, wanted us to chair in a different committee, but it was the San Joaquin water settlement after, I don't know, 18 or 20 years of legal battles, and then people came together. And so, I think we definitely would prefer uh, to come together and resolve these as opposed to many, many more years of legal battle. So uh, it sounds like we got to do a little more work here, but hopefully we can get this done. Our colleagues are obviously going to be putting in a lot of work to make sure that we do. So I thank everyone for their testimony today, and we'll look forward to uh, uh, hearing more from all of you as we resolve these issues and move forward this year. We're adjourned. <laughs>